Day 31. I'm not into it. I don't like the food. In this dialogue, Anna uses the expression, I'm not into it, to indicate that she does not like sushi. Miguel asks for clarification on the phrase, and Anna explains her preference for cooked food over raw food. Miguel then suggests an alternative that he thinks Anna might enjoy. Here comes the dialogue. Are you going to try some of the sushi? I'm not into it. Not into it? What do you mean? It means I don't like sushi. It's just not my type of food. Oh, I see. Is there a reason? I'm not a big fan of raw fish. I prefer cooked meals. Got it. There's some cooked chicken on the other table. Maybe you'd like that? Yes, that sounds much better to me. Thanks for letting me know. No problem. Everyone has different tastes. Exactly. It's good that there are different options for everyone. True. Enjoy the chicken then. I will. Maybe next time I'll try something new. Day 32. You are too picky. In this dialogue, Anna is indecisive about buying a dress, and Marco describes her as too picky. Anna asks for clarification on the term, and Marco explains that it means she is looking for everything to be perfect. They discuss the importance of making decisions without getting caught up in minor imperfections. Here comes the dialogue. I can't decide which dress to buy. This one is too blue, and that one is too long. Anna, you are too picky. Too picky? What does that mean? It means you have a hard time making a choice because you want everything to be perfect. I just want to make sure I get something I really like. I understand, but sometimes it's okay if things aren't perfect. Maybe you're right. I should just choose one. Exactly. Both dresses look great on you. Thanks, Marco. I'll go with the blue one then. Good choice. You'll look wonderful in it. I hope so. Next time I'll try not to be so picky. Just go with what feels right. Sometimes the first choice is the best one. Day 33. It's no laughing matter for him. In this dialogue, Alex learns from Lisa that the situation is serious for Tom and not something to make light of. Lisa explains that no laughing matter. Refers to something that should be taken seriously. Alex shows concern and offers to help, demonstrating understanding and support. Here comes the dialogue. Did you hear about Tom missing the penalty shot in the game? Yeah, everyone was teasing him about it. Well, it's no laughing matter for him. He takes soccer very seriously. No laughing matter? What does that mean? It means it's something serious and not to be joked about. I didn't realize. I thought he would shrug it off. He usually does, but he's been practicing penalties a lot recently. I see. I'll apologize to him then. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. That's kind of you. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Maybe I can help him practice more, too. What a great idea! That would definitely cheer him up. I'll talk to him at practice tomorrow. Day 34, you are so good with your hands. In this dialogue, Rita compliments Mark on his manual skills, and Mark asks for clarification on the phrase, good with your hands. Rita explains that it means having talent in practical tasks, like crafting or repairing things, and they agree to exchange help with each other's projects. Here comes the dialogue. Wow, Mark! The bookshelf you made is amazing. You are so good with your hands. Good with your hands? What do you mean by that? It means you have great skill in making things or fixing things manually. Oh, I understand now. Thanks, Rita. I've always enjoyed woodworking. How long did it take you to learn? A few years. My granddad taught me when I was young. 
It's a wonderful skill to have. Could you help me fix my broken chair? Of course, I'd be happy to. Bring it over next time. I really appreciate it. I'm not very handy myself. No problem. Everyone has different talents. You're right. I'll bake something for you in return. Baking is more my area. That sounds like a fair trade. I'm looking forward to it. Day 35. Repairing things has always been in your blood. In this dialogue, Liam's skill in repairing is discussed, with Ava learning that it's a talent passed down through Liam's family, hence the phrase, in your blood. Liam offers to help Ava with her own repair issue, showing his natural inclination and generational skill for fixing things. Here comes the dialogue. I saw you fixing your bike yesterday. You made it look so easy. Yeah, repairing things has always been in your blood, hasn't it? In your blood? Does that mean it's a family thing? Exactly. It means it's a talent or skill that my family has had for a long time. Oh, I get it now. So, your parents and grandparents are good at fixing things too? That's right. My dad and my granddad were both mechanics. It's great that you've learned so much from them. I've always enjoyed it. Do you need help fixing anything? Actually, yes. There's a problem with my desk drawer. It won't close properly. Bring it over. I'd be glad to take a look for you. Thanks so much, Liam. I really appreciate it. No problem, Ava. I'm happy to help out.